Are you ready for a floral surprise? I am in the studio and I've got these gorgeous polar bear baby's breath and there happened to be a giant clawfoot bathtub. What else would you do? Let's make a flower bubble bath. Okay, in order to do this, we've got to start with some infrastructure. So I'm gonna ask my friend Anna to come on over and help me out. So we're gonna to need to have a bucket inside the tub itself to act as a stabling element for our flowers. So there we go, a nice white bucket. White's a good choice, thanks yes. Anna. Anna, did you say hello? Hi. <laughs> All right, so we've got two big bunches. These are the biggest bunches I've ever seen of this polar bear baby's breath. Look how spectacular. All right, Anna's, Anna's giving a little bit of a fluff. Oh my gosh, it already looks like a bubble bath. But we are not done because we need a secondary layer. So Anna's gonna bring in a bit of chicken wire. And with this chicken wire, it's gonna be as if the bubbles are pouring out of the bathtub and onto the floor. Cause you know, when I take a bubble bath, I like a nice deep bubble bath with lots of bubbles. All right, so there we go. So all we've done here is Anna has slipped the chicken wire right into the area where the bucket is, and then she's going to add on some additional stems of our polar bear baby's breath. If you haven't worked with polar bear yet, you are in for a treat. This is definitely a project that's gonna take two people to get this big bushel of layering bubbles to pour out of the bathtub. We are going to weave our baby's breath, this beautiful polar bear baby's breath, into our chicken wire, and that's what's gonna hold it nice and stable. Now, I know someone is gonna ask me, well, how does it stay alive without water? Well, it won't stay alive without water. This design is gonna be meant to be here for maybe 24 hours. It will dry in place, but they'll look beautiful during the time we're enjoying them. All right, this bubble bath is so fun and so fabulous. Before I climb in and enjoy this flower bubble bath, I think I need some proper bubbles. All right, we are clearly having a lot of fun. You know, it's sometimes as designers, we get stuck in ruts and we get stuck doing the same things over and over again. You know, one of the things that I teach in the Big Dreams Virtual Masterclass is doing things different, doing things that you haven't seen before. So flower bubbles, well, that's one of those things that I've never made flower bubbles before, but today we made a bubble bath with flower bubbles because we could. Sometimes that's what we need to do in design. We just need to design for us and enjoy it. Thank you. 